Hello everybody, good evening. This is Jewelry Jelly here with Isabel and today's special guest, Kiki and Gigi. I'm going to hold these up so you can see how absolutely accurate she looks to Ghibli's studio art. She's even got her broom. She has the red transistor radio. She's got a little stand. She's got her big orange satchel and the big red bow. This dress is black. I had thought that it would be dark purple, but it's more of a movie thing. But in any case, that was a purchase that I made about five years ago. I got it directly from Japan. I used a shopping service to buy it from the Takara Tomi store because this was a collaboration with Liga-chan dolls. So um, I'm going to get everything set up here. It looks like uh, my viewers aren't quite here yet. So let's just make sure that I've got everything all set. And we'll begin when last we played. We were almost up against a boss battle. And not just any boss battle, a boss battle against Queen Beryl. All right, we're opening it up. We've got Sailor Moon, Sailor Chibi Moon, Uranus, Neptune, and Saturn up against Queen Beryl. We found a hammer. We found an empty chamber. Which way do we go? all of the DD girls. But now, we are trapped in this cave. At least we're not coming across any random encounters. I forgot what happened here. Hello, I'm JD. How's everything? levels all right. I'm trying to adjust everything and just make sure that like stuff doesn't doesn't get picked up by my microphone and everything. Okay, so it looks like I got to go back and I got to look a little bit deeper into the cave. Examine the wall. Oh, there we go. The reaction to the rose crystal is coming from here. Oh, yeah, and Char's with us. What? That's crazy. This is a dead end. But there might be a hidden entrance. 
Or perhaps someone created a mirage to deceive us. We need to believe in Chibi Moon's silver crystal. Jeez, you guys don't gotta gang up on me like that. Whoa. Ah! Owie, jeez, what gives? No, this feeling. Oh, snap. You. I've been waiting for you, sailor soldiers. And the princess! Sailor Moon! Beryl, you were sealed away! So this is Queen Beryl. Yes, you sealed me away, yet I stand before you once again! I'm trying to imitate her original dub voice. Why do you think that is? It's all because of the changing of destiny! The destiny where I was defeated by you has been rewritten, and this time he will be mine! Die, Sailor Moon! Oh, battle. Okay, well... And in the manga- yep. Sailor Moon straight up killed her. In the manga, Venus just stabbed her. In Crystal, it was Sailor Moon that finished the job. I don't know if you saw it, but um, Chibi Moon's attack just basically makes this little pink outline of a heart and it hits somebody and then it just falls on the ground. Alright, so we're up against Queen Beryl. Hello, Blano6. How's everything tonight? And how are you doing, Time Sage? By the way, um, you kind of missed me showing off, um, I have the official, uh, Studio Ghibli licensed collaboration with Lika-chan. It's Kiki. Alright, so we managed to defeat Queen Beryl. Alright. Of course, I can't defeat you in this form. Sailor Moon, have you guessed why I've been waiting for you in this exact place? How should I know? No, seriously, how should we know? Could it have something to do with the strong magnetic fields around Mount Fuji? The forest lures people in and they find themselves unable to leave. Okay, um, real talk here. This is kind of creepy, considering what is near Mount Fuji. Indeed so. Throughout this cave courses a slew of dark energy to rival that of Queen Metalia. What? And when I have made this energy converge, my power will rise! I need some cheese to go with that ham. Okay, here's the thing, I think it's supposed to happen. Whoa. Wow, Neptune actually, actually had a pretty, um... Big defense. Whoop. Evil surge. Smack. Oh dear. Yeah, pretty much. This is hopeless. She's too strong. And yet they're still standing up. Sailor Moon, use the two civil silver crystals together. Combine the power of both the present and the future. 
but don't let them touch. Got it. Chibi Moon. Right. Oh, they got Ginsui Show indeed. not working? Why is there no effect? Why? Why didn't the silver crystals do anything? The power of that crystal is nothing to me. The destiny that dictates the silver crystal can destroy me has been eliminated. She's bluffing. Girls, keep up the fight. Alright, now let's see if we can one-shot Beryl. Okay, so... I think what I'm going to do is I am going to give out some manicures. Hey, Dr. Zadium! How you doing? Ah, hip, hip Neptune. This is, let's see, so fascination, okay, I'll just make, I'll just use up a, um, all cure for that. Oh well, now that's more like it. And she's okay again. Let's see if that does anything. Well, looks like we're probably going to have an easy time. Oh wow, 10 damage. something degrees out and my office is upstairs and the only thing I've really got that um, really cuts the heat is I've got a oscillating fan that's going on to the side of me and all right we have defeated Queen Beryl damn you defeating me once more no I can't lose to the silver crystal not again I had at least, at last, escaped the destiny of being destroyed by the sailor soldiers. I thought that this time he'd become mine. Endymion! Queen Beryl, your obsession was your undoing. Hey, girls. Is everyone alright? That took all the strength I had. Same here. Sailor Moon, are you crying? I'm so glad you're all still alive. It's so poignant. It's not over yet, girls. We still haven't found the rose crystal. That's right. Find that and Mamoru should be healed, right? What the? Which one of these is the rose crystal? Leave it to me. Take this lady. What? What are you talking about? Give me 
back the rose crystal. If you had it, Tuxedo Mask would be healed. And Yoda would have to fight. I can't let that happen. Haha, <laughs> you finally opened your eyes, Anshar. Sin. I couldn't turn my back on my sister. I mean, Opposidio Sin. <laughs> so you're finally behaving. Lady Serenity. No, Chibiusa. Fighting alongside you was the happiest and proudest time of my life. Why? Why, Anshar? You protected me and you saved Momo too. So that boy is part of Hell Destiny. Chibi Moon, cheer up. There has to be some kind of explanation for this. There is no way you could have known, and he must have his reasons. Still, it seems he caught us all off guard. Well, for now, I think we should head back to Tokyo. The other should be back soon. It'll all be okay, Chibi Moon. This is the end of chapter three. Want to write this all down in the diary? Yes. All right, it is now chime for chapter four. It's unfortunate that Anshar is on the enemy side. It must have been a real shock to poor Chibiusa. Hey, Usagi. Is something up with Chibiusa? She's looking kind of down lately. Hey, are you bullying her again? Shingo, why are you always so annoying? Haven't you ever heard of knocking? Sheesh, you're bursting my eardrums, stupid Usagi. Ah, that kid never changes. Speaking of siblings, you heard Anshar, right? Sin is his sister. I have a hunch that she's the leader of Hell Destiny. ring a ling a ling Usagi, you have a call! Hello? Oh, hey, Ami, what's up? Mamoru's awake! Really? Heart, heart. Mamoru's feeling better? But you should know he'll probably need a day or two more of rest. I can't believe it. He's awake! Jumping for joy. Chapter 4. Hostility and Friendship. Chibiusa! Mamo's awake! Really? He is? Let's stop by his apartment. We need to go see him. Yeah, let's go! Alright, so it looks like... Hello, Usagi? Are you still there? <laughs> of course. Alright, so now we are headed back into Juban, and we are going to go to Mamoru's apartment. So, the first thing that we're going to do, I'm just going to check our items. Let's see how we're doing on the puzzle, first of all. Ooh, we're doing pretty good. Alright, let's sort everything out. got all of the dark and light stones and um, we can sell the couture doll to the collector shop so what I think I'm going to be doing first is I'm gonna be going to the elegance shop Odofukuya and getting some healing items and buff items and if I can find it So, I've been doing okay lately. I went out for dinner with my husband last night. We were, I was like, I came home, I'm like, I don't want to cook. So I said, can you indulge me? Let's go out to have sushi. Unfortunately, the place that we chose was closed for the day. So we ended up going to another place. And the food was pretty good. I got sesame chicken. 
The other thing is, is that we finally figured out which place near us that we like to order has the really bad crab rangoons. And it was that one. Okay, so I think I've pretty got pretty much all of the uh, healing and buff items that I need. So we are going to go visit Mamo-chan. Maison. It means house. And there's all our friends. Usagi, next time remember to hang up the phone. Mamor is waiting. This is great, Usagi. For a moment there, I was wondering what was going to happen. Now we can focus on defeating the enemy. Mamo! Mamo! Usako, is that you? Yes, I'm right here. Chibiusa, too. Because you protected me, I'm just fine. I'm glad you're both safe. <coughs> Mama, what's wrong? You've got to be strong. I'm okay. I have something to tell you that the others need to know. What is it? I had another dream, or maybe it was a vision. What do you mean? The enemy. They've traveled to an era long ago. Wait, do you mean... Yeah, it was the moon castle of the past. Someone was there holding the rose crystal. <sighs> Did Enshar go to the past? No, it wasn't him who had it. Go to the Mare Serenitatis of Earth. It can take you back in time. Enshar isn't our real enemy. The true foe is... <coughs> Momo, don't push yourself. She's right, you've done enough for us today. So, the true foe is cough, cough, cough. Mamoru must have mustered his strength to wake up and see you. Did he say anything? Yeah, he said the enemies traveled to the far-off past. The far-off past? Like, back when you were... Um... Well, this is weird. I can't remember anything about the moon princess. What the heck? Um, me neither! Oh no, didn't I study enough? You're saying none of you remember me at all? They remember Usagi, but it seems like they've forgotten Princess... Um... Princess... Uh... Strange. Luna, you've got to be kidding me. What? It's not what you think. I... So has something erased her memories? Maybe the Oppositio soldiers did something that changed the course of history. It's possible that the destiny of Usagi originating as Serenity has been removed. And maybe Usagi won't be able to become Sailor Moon? It might not even end there. Destiny may change so that Usagi and Mamoru never even meet. What? I could end up never meeting Mamo? I hate this! That's not going to happen. Lower the decibels, okay? We've got to change the past back to normal. I agree with you. Yeah, we've got to kick the tar out of Hell Destiny. The question now is, how do we go to the past? That's a cinch. We just use the door of space and time. We just use the TARDIS. But if the enemy is guarding the door, it might be unsafe. That reminds me. Has anybody seen Sailor Pluto recently? I wonder if she's okay. Do you know Chibiusa? Nuh uh. I haven't seen Pooh in ages. Well, the door of space and time is our best shot. And to get there, we'll need the space time key. That's where I come in! Hang on. Should all of us really take off for the door? It wouldn't bode well if the enemy realized that Mamoru were awake. 
Alright, so that begs the question of who, besides Usagi, is going along. So, it'll be me, Chibiusa, and three others. Who wants to go? Alright, so now we've got to split the party. So, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to choose... Let's see. Let me see what um, the walkthrough recommends. Okay, so it looks like this one... Um, this one that I'm looking at recommends Chibi Moon, Sailor Moon, Saturn, Mars, and Venus. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. Moon Cosmic Power! Moon Prism Power! Mars Star Power! Venus Star Power! Saturn Planet Power! You're up, Chibi Moon! Oh, guardian of time, tear apart the heavens and open wide for me the door of space and time. I summon thee, thee by that, thy true name. Oh, omnipotent god of time, father of the guardian, O Kronos, guide us on our journey, protect these travelers, grant us the path of light. And we've got time travel. Okay, so I am going to change my formation. Okay, there we go. Did I just, did I just, um, get knocked out for a second? Alright, so I think I'm good. Let me see our levels, first of all. So, 19, 16, 15, 18, and 18. I think we're pretty good. So here is a save point. Here is the space-time door. Don't go any further. It's been quite some time, Sailor Moon. Sailor Pluto, you're alive! Sailor Moon, you must leave the legendary silver crystal with me. Huh? Why? Unstable energies are swirling beyond the door of space and time. With the silver crystal, the energies can be neutralized. This is of grave importance. Please, quickly. I... I understand. Princess, your crystal will be needed as well. That's not Pooh! Huh? Pooh never ever calls me princess. <laughs> I've been found out. Well, whatever. Oh, snap! Nurgle! That's right, Sailor Mars. And this time, you will die. Oh, you intend to win against me? Don't you dare think that this will be the same as last time. Otherwise, you're in for a nasty surprise. Bring it on. All right, boss battle.
what did I? Hey, hey Cortalis, how's it going? not doing well. Pink Sugar Soul! Ooh, that was a good full heal. Ooh, we did good. Alright, so, Nurgle. Damn it, I can do this by myself. But I still have something you don't. The Soldier of Time. That's right, Sailor Pluto is at my mercy. She's trapped in the Tower of Space Time. Better find her soon. <laughs> Wait! This has to be a trap. That doesn't matter to me. I need to help Pooh. You're right. You should never turn your back on a friend, no matter what happens. Gee, uh, original dub theme song much? Plus, if there's no Pluto, there'll be no one to babysit you. Sailor Moon? All right, let's get going. All right, we're going in. Woo, trippy! Ooh, also trippy. Scar, you found some playing cards. You found a garnet pin. Whoa. It looks like we are teleporting everywhere. Ooh, a deluxe cake and an original card. Foundation cream. Garnet earrings. Whoa! Perfume. And a safe point. Alright. Priorities there, Usagi. Yep. Crystal Burger. But wouldn't that break your teeth? Alright, so let's see what the um, thing says about the red pupil. So, yep, I have to. This walkthrough says that I need to equip it to Sailor Saturn. speed will increase. And it looks like I did get all of uh, Pluto's accessories. Whoop. Ooh, a deluxe plate. 
Also, I keep teleporting. I think I got all the stuff in here, though. One of them might be. The Kizenian. I think they're they do have one of the monsters from the R movie in this. I can't recall exactly where it shows up. But it also has the uh, monsters from the S movie. Alright, so I'm um, getting teleported, I'm getting teleported, I'm gonna make a safety save. Where am I teleporting to? Yeah, Campanula? I'm pretty sure you could probably find it out somewhere online, like when the monsters in another story first appeared. I need to go back to the room. Let's see. Whoop. There we go. I stumbled on it by mistake. Poo! Oh, snap. Watch out, small lady. Don't come any closer. This tree is growing from the energy it absorbs from me. If you come any closer, it will ensnare you within its roots. Please, pick up the garnet rod. It's right over there. Take it to the place where Earth's energy is at its most concentrated. If you wish to save the people who hope for peace, you must go to the past, even if I am gone. No, we're not going to leave you behind, Pooh. That's right. There's no way we can leave you to die. The Time Tree. I wonder if this is supposed to be a reference to the Doom Tree. One point of damage. Oh, okay. That did not take very long at all. Small lady, everyone, thank you. The tower's shaking! Oh snap, was that a load-bearing tree? Hurry, we must leave before it collapses. That will guide us to safety. Sailor soldiers have gathered, but we can't let down our guard. The enemy still seems to be changing destiny in the past. Maybe by changing destiny, that tragedy, the fall of the Silver Millennium, maybe it could be stopped? Wouldn't it be nice for us to live the time that was stolen from us? To live out our lives on the moon as if nothing ever happened? Dot dot dot. Don't you dare say one more word. 
The enemy is changing the world's destiny to their own selfish ends. Are you saying you don't want to live in the world like it is? Do you hate the way we all are now? Dot, dot, dot. Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Still, you have a point. Destiny shouldn't be changed. We must take responsibility for our actions. It would be wrong for us to see destiny changed however we want. Yeah, it'd only be futile, since it wouldn't be by our own effort. That's why we need to give it our all. Both our successes and failures become our memories. I don't think we can change our histories to cover up our weaknesses either. Yeah, that's right. I mean, if you change destiny so you could end up with someone you like, it wouldn't be true love. Ray. In any case, the enemy is changing destiny without considering the repercussions. This is impermissible. We must take action. However, the door of space and time has fallen under their control, and it remains both un unapproachable and unstable. Usagi, did Mamoru tell you anything? Yeah. He said something about a Mare Serenitatis here on Earth. But I have no idea where that is. Wait a sec, I'll try to calculate it. Beep, beep, beep. No good, data not found. There's just not very much info about the moon. Really? I bet I could find something at the bookstore. I'll come straight back if I find something. Wow, Usagi actually going to a bookstore to buy something other than manga. store. Where is the bookstore? There is the toy store. There is the konbini. There is the clock store. There is the osapi. Bookstore. 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 Bookstore, bookstore. Bookstore, bookstore. Here is Elegant Stop, Ota Fukuya, but not a bookstore. Bookstore! Why, hello there, young lady. Can I help you find anything? Um, I'm looking for books about the moon. Hmm, I think we might have something like that in stock. Follow me. Hmm. Over the moon. A culinary journey. exactly is a toy dox anyway. Do moon rabbits dream of pocket calculators? Written by uh, Philip K. Dick. Hmm? Aha! What have we here? That's the latest issue of Nakayoshi. I have not been... I So last year I started buying Nakayoshi again. I was able to get it shipped to me off of Amazon Japan. And I only got three issues before the pandemic hit in. The only reason why I was getting Nakayoshi was because of the fact that they started doing a Tokyo Mew Mew sequel series and the Tokyo Mew Mew Guys. Tokyo Mew Mew Ore. Oh, there we are, the moon book. This should be just what you need, young lady. It is about a half an inch thick and it's filled with pictures and it says goodnight moon on the front. Yes, this is exactly what I was looking for. Lego, you, um, Time Sage, you did not know about Tokyo Mew Mew Ore? I think you would like it very much. Hmm, hmm, this book costs... 
Hmm. One million yen. What? How the hell? But miss, you're such a lovely young lady. So I'll give you a discount. Only 300 yen. If you give me a few minutes, I will go down and grab my copy of the first GN. It's not in English yet. Do you want to become an astronomer by any chance? Or are you some sort of moon princess? Ah, uh, forget it. No skin off my nose. Please come again. Okay, Mr. Bookshop guy. Thank you. You're a little bit creepy, but you helped me. But yeah, when I, you know what, give me one moment, I am going to head downstairs and I am going to grab that copy of the first graphic novel and I will show it to you. So be right back. Midriffs galore and handsome guys. Also, I wanted to show you something very special. It took me 20 years to finally get this book in my hands. That is the Samurai Pizza Cats manga. Well, it's a Mostly a Samurai Pizza Cats, but there's also a story from another franchise in there as well. The only thing it doesn't have is Furigana, so it's a little hard for me to read. But yeah, Tokyo Mew Mew was the series that I kind of learned Japanese to get into and start reading, and it really helped me with my reading comprehension. I still have all of my original Japanese editions. I just don't have any room for them on my shelf. But I tried reading the first American translation. It was awful. It was during a time when Tokyo Pop only cared about Fruits Basket and gave all of Fruits Basket its special care. And then it just licensed a bunch of random volumes and series and such and just threw them to the wolves, I guess. Well. Alright, so we have the book on the moon, and we're coming back. Ami, I found a book about the moon. Let me see it, please. I think I can make some calculations about Mare Serenitatis using the book. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing that right. Beep, 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 beep. Found it! It's in Harumi, Tokyo. How convenient! Why Harumi? That's because of the Moon Castle's past location. The castle was within Mare Serenitatis. Mare Serenitatis also means Sea of Serenity. And the characters in Harumi can also be read as clear in sea. Of course, Usagi doesn't get it because Usagi is still writing with Hiragana even though she is in 8th grade. If we go there, we might be able to travel to the past. Let's go and check it out. Alright, so they are going to the warehouse district. It's like a ghost town. Hmm, and there's no show today either. Hirumi usually always has a Sailor Moon show going on. I guess the actors are taking the day off. Aw, what a shame. Well, we should take it slow and have a look around. Or at least I'd like to, but there's no time to relax. 
Let's hurry and find Earth's Mari Serenitatis from Mamoru. Huh? Did anyone else hear something? Was it your stomach, Minako? Or was it your stomach, Usagi? What was it? Is that? I don't know, but it sounds to me like maybe it was one of those uh, little kid shows that had the costume characters up on stage. Oh, snap. The Black Moon's UFO! They must have been brought back by the changing of destiny. But Koan and her sisters, they should have all been leading happy lives. Not in the manga. Everyone, transform! Moon, cosmic power! Mercury, star power! Mars, star power! Jupiter, star power! Venus, star power! Moon, prism power! Neptune, planet power! Uranus, planet power! Pluto, planet power! Saturn, planet power! Make up! Come on, we're getting on that UFO. Hang on. If we all get on board, who will look for Earth's Mare Serenitatis? While you're on that UFO, history might change. Uranus is right. We should separate into two groups. Yeah, it'll be more efficient this way. You're right, then it'll be two teams of five. Alright, so for this, I am going to do the Inner Guardians, mostly because of the fact that there's kind of a little Easter egg. You girls ready? Let's get inside this thing. Okay. Sailor teleport! Oh, this is definitely a creep city. In more ways than one. Ah, oh, it's our Losty McLosty. Oh no, it's a traveling merchant. Those aren't- yeah, I figured they were doors. It's just- design is just really weird, but... They look like mirrors, don't you think? Well, this isn't a door. through the mirrors. Whoa. Now those are definitely our monsters. to get stoned.
at least she's awake. Oh, they do? Okay. Oh, we got one. So that was... Whew. Alright, so it looks as if we are going to have to um, do some leveling up, because I just looked at the other screen, and while well, everybody is in the 19, uh, 20s, um, Mercury and Jupiter are 19 and 17 respectively, so I think I'm going to need to do some more random battles. Also, it looks like we're going to be up against a, um, we're going to be up against a boss gauntlet as well. Well, first of all, let's see what happens when we do this. like the first and the best. So it looks like we got to get Jupiter up another couple levels. Let's do, let's see, bubble chain. And thunder, stardust stream hit, stardust stream hit, and crescent thunder, and stardust stream hit. Ooh, that was pretty good. Uh oh. Sailor Moon falling asleep at a time like this. I'm actually having some difficulty with battles now. Things done. 
with her legs. With her feet. With her kicks. Alright, another couple of levels. This game even has elemental weaknesses. Yeah, it's like... And then of course we've got the uh, Tax and uh, Jupiter Coconut Cyclone having absolutely nothing to do with coconuts or cyclones. Okay, so she's up to level 20. Let's see what's beyond this door. Ooh, boy. We are in a room with a thing. What is this thing? Oh, we can't find out what that thing is because we've been pulled into a random battle! Jupiter's finally managed to power up enough for her to um, kill an entire party with one blow. Thunder is. It's even got the little antenna coming up from her tiara and everything. Oh, let's see how we're doing on the puzzle. Hmm. Okay, so we're at a dead end. How do we get back out of this room? even moved. Hmm. Well, we are definitely um, going up in levels very fast and loose. Yes, this is. Well, to be honest, I'm glad that um, I'm grinding here now because my Ju Jupiter was severely underleveled. Ah, there we go. <gasps> oh, snap. We've been expecting you, Sailor Moon. 
Pex, why? Why do you want to fight again? Because I was told Safia would come back to life. I didn't mean to drag my sisters into this. Defeat me and they'll return to their original destinies. Sailor Moon, please. Koan, tell me, didn't you find true love? Mars, I didn't want this to happen again. But our destiny of happiness was changed, and now we have to fight. Berthier, why? I know you understand. Destiny should never be changed. I do understand, but I couldn't just run away all by myself. Please, defeat us. I don't want to fight anymore. Why, pets? Weren't you happy before? Jupiter, please forgive us, fools. We want to return to that happy destiny. Calaveras, please. You have to believe in love. I do believe, Venus. I chose this destiny because I believed my sister's love would be fulfilled. So please, stop us. Forgive us, sailor soldiers. All right, it's boss gauntlet time. attack too. But right now, I need to... I need to heal up. Managed to get, um, <sighs> managed to get, um, Venus revived, but not Jupiter. going to be fighting our next battle with uh, Jupiter down. Okay, she's at 1 HP.
Okay, so... Have Venus defend. It's like she meows when she gets hit. <laughs> yeah! I know it's probably her saying, Yeah! Coconut cyclones. <laughs> oh, Venus. <laughs> oh, we got Beru Ber Berouche Berthier, whatever you call her. Calvaris. Venus should really, yeah. This is one of those um, cut your HP in half attacks.
back up to full? Well... See if I can do the Sailor Planet attack. Definitely a very challenging boss battle. I do, I know I have Mars set to run, that was on accident, but I think we were really close to killing her anyway, so. I'm sorry, Sailor Moon. Alright, last boss of the gauntlet. Five hundred HP in one blow. Alright. 
so we're all back to fighting fit, and let's see here. Nope, not that. I am going to use, let's see if I can find, I think I got the face cream so that I can get my defense up. There we go. That should help. twice in a row. raised. Oh, this is getting exhausting. This is probably the first battle that I've had that really feels like life or death.
right, so I'm sending everybody to do Sailor Planet Attack just because I don't know who's going first. Phew! It looks like Jupiter's first. And we got her! I'm so sorry. I swore I wouldn't let anyone else die, but I couldn't do it. Dot, dot, dot. I can't let this get to me. Even now, other happy lives are in danger of being ruined. Just like the Spectre sisters. That's why we have to fight. Sailor Moon. Come in, Sailor Moon. Oh, it's Luna. Hi, Luna, what's up? We found Mari Serenitatis. All right, we're finished here too. We're waiting. Get out of there quickly. Sure, but how do we get to the ground? There should be a portal above you that leads to the surface. Ah. I wonder how she would know that, though. I don't think Luna ever went on the uh, Black Moon's UFO. All right, so we're back in Haruni. So you really found it, Luna? Mary Serenitidas, cousin to John Laurenitis. Um, you spelled it as John Laurentitz. It's here. All right, forward to the past. But, um, how? We must combine our powers. Venus star power! Mercury star power! Mars star power! Jupiter star power! Uranus planet power! Neptune planet power! Saturn planet power! Pluto planet power! Moon prism power! Moon cosmic power! Sailor teleport through time. They're off on a trip through time and space. Is this life of mine truly not meant to last? Oh, Anshar. At your service, Lady Apsu. Demand of the Black Moon has absconded to the past with the Rose Crystal. Huh? The Rose Crystal's with him? It appears the sailor soldiers have given chase. If by chance they acquire the Rose Crystal, destiny will remain unchanged. That can't happen. Is there a way to stop them? For you to be with Lady, we've no choice but to alter the Silver Crystal. What do you mean? Isn't the Silver Crystal invincible? Quite so, but in the era the Oppositio soldiers have gone to, the crystal is still in pieces. In that time, it is separated into seven distinct rainbow crystals. Okay, we're getting back into the 90s plot, and um, that was basically a plot filler arc where there were seven Yoma who each had a different color of the rainbow as a rainbow crystal, and then once all seven of them were collected, you made a wish on Shenrong, and I'm getting my animes mixed up. If we obtain but one of them, Destiny will shall change massively. Should the silver crystal combine from just six pieces, its power would weaken. The class disparities between you and Lady would disappear. No, more than that, a future will open with you as her lover. Um, there is a guy with a golden horn on his forehead that wants to talk to you. I understand. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll tell Sin about the rainbow crystals. But why would Lady Apsu revive the Black Moon? I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Sin and the others can handle Demond. Uh, 
I leave this in your hands, Anshar. Remember, should I be separated from this era, my power will be of no use. Yes, I know. The destiny of the past can't be changed with your resurrection powers alone. And regretfully, I am unable to cross time. This ability lies in you alone. Yet owing to that, I have acquired the power to see destiny. <coughs> Lady Apsu! Is it getting worse? <coughs> Pay it no mind. This pain would vanish were only the silver crystal glow in my grasp. Alright, I'm headed to the past. Dot dot dot. Had our paths not crossed, this changing of destiny would be unthinkable. attacking wow that is the calmest run for your life I've ever seen I mean for at least a little bit I mean we should have seen the uh, screen shake a little bit maybe some sound effects <laughs> why did mommy and daddy have to die why why didn't the sailor soldiers come save us they're the only ones with the power power to fight back against the black moon Sin. Sin, can you hear my voice? Huh? Who's there? I am Shaman Apsu, but this is of little consequence. Tell me, Shin, do you loathe the Black Moon? What kind of question is that? Is it not obvious? Indeed, yet I understand you also despise the Sailor Soldiers. The Sailor Soldiers? Yeah, why didn't they come and fight for us? They were kind of busy. If they had, Mom and Dad would still be... Shall I impart my thoughts on what they might be doing? As we speak, they must be ensuring the safety of the legendary Silver Crystal. It would appear it is of greater import than the lives of Crystal Tokyo citizens. Do... Do we matter less than the Silver Crystal? Sin, what say you? None would see this as forgivable, save the sailor soldiers. Yes, it's horrible. If I had their strength, I wouldn't have let my mom and dad die. It so happens I can grant you strength, one just like theirs. Ooh, glowy, glowy. What is this? Yes, Sin. This is the sort of power held within the Sailor Soldiers. It's wonderful. Sin, I make you an offer. Will you accompany me? With this, you might avenge your parents. Poor souls, the Sailor Soldiers left to defend for themselves. And we could obtain the Silver Crystal the cause of this siege. I accept. Then it is decided. Daddy! Mommy! <laughs> One condition. My little brother's coming along too. But of course. What? Oh, what is this? The power this boy holds is unimaginable. So, it looks like Anshar is pretty special. Was that coincidence destiny itself, I wonder? Or perhaps I have sinned to thank. Regardless, it was with your advent, Anshar, that I've managed to avoid my demise. <coughs> I ask for the silver crystal before my life expires. Alright, so Apsu's gonna die. Also, so where in the past? How's everyone holding up? I'm okay. Are you sure, Saturn? Yes, it's nothing. Where? Where are we? This is Earth in the past. It appears we've all arrived safely. Someone's coming! 
Warmest greetings to you, future queen and princess, and all the soldiers as well. It's you! I am Radina. We've been awaiting you. Please, follow me to my home. Oh wow, it's Radina. Although, it's very, very far in the past. You've expended much energy by crossing space and time. It would be to your benefit to rest upon. What do you think, Sailor Moon? I'm going with her. Um, I don't know if we should just follow a stranger. At least, that's what Mom taught me. But she does seem to have a kind heart. Hmm. <sighs> we can trust Radina. I met her when I went to Turkey, though she was just a ghost then. Right, so we're going. I don't feel malicious energy from her. Oh, excuse me. Um. Um. Oh no! Where'd they all go? Ugh, this is pointless. They went and ran off with it. Demand. Hmm, just where did he go? Damn it, if only I'd been able to take care of those sailor soldiers. Look on the bright side. At least those sailor chicks didn't get their hands on it. That's true, but we can't even make changes to destiny right now. This is a waste of time. There's nothing we can do about that. If we alter destiny in this age, we'd end up disappearing too. Sin, you're taking responsibility for the rose crystal being stolen. Got it? We don't have time for this. Right, the sailor soldiers are hot on our tail. Let's search for Demond. Ugh, this is such a drag. A drag or not, it's our job now to get back the rose crystal. <laughs> oh, Ishtar. Perhaps I should introduce myself once more. I am Sage Radina. Your arrival in this time has been for your prophecy, future sailor soldiers. Hey, that's pretty cool. Even though destiny supposedly changed, you still predicted it spot on. Such is the gift we sages possess. Sage Beryl is much the same. Sage Beryl? Could she be the same Beryl? Sailor Moon, about Queen Beryl. I know. Sailor soldiers, your journey begins here. Please use my home however you see fit. If you lose your way, please visit me. I will offer my aid and guidance. That is the duty of a sage. I will be on the north side of the village within the Temple of Venus. Now I shall take my leave. Right, let's head out and go find the Rose Crystal. Wait. If the ten of us move as one unit, it might draw attention. Uh, drawing attention wearing those anachronistic outfits? It would be better if we split into two groups again. Yes, Neptune's right. Gather round, girls. We'll decide the scouting party now. It'll be four of you led by Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon, who's going with you? Wait a sec. What's the matter, Chibi Moon? I have to come with you. It's my job to get the Rose Crystal. And, and, and Mamo needs my help. Well, if you insist. It's funny, you're so much like Sailor Moon. <laughs> it's only natural, right? Well, what do you mean by that? I'm nothing like... Anyway, pick the scouting party. Ugh, Mars. Alright. So, we have Sailor Moon and Sailor TV Moon as the default. So let's see here. Alright, so, let's see, 28, 29, 26, 27, 21, 16, 18, yikes. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I am going to bring Pluto, Neptune, and Uranus. If you want to change team members, come back here and let Artemis know. The other sailor soldiers will be waiting. Hey, I had a look around town and I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Artemis, you'll be waiting here for our return. Huh? I will? 
stair. Gee. Why are you all looking at me like that? Uh, all right. I'll stay here and stand by. It's time to find the rose crystal. We should hurry. Yeah. Well, good luck, Artemis. Um, got it. Take care. Okay, so I do have some accessories that I can equip. Chibiusa any accessories. Pluto stats, oh boy. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go into the item store and see what we can get. HP 1 out of 10, attack 2 out of 10, defense 6 out of 10, speed 4 out of 10, evade 5 out of 10. So, yeah. Alright, I am going to make a quick save in the inn. open up the formation. Okay, so we need Sailor Moon and let's see, Chibi Moon and okay, so this one yeah, I think this is going to have to do it. Because I'm going against the recommendations of the uh, guide that I'm reading just because I always feel like I need to level up my party evenly because you never know what you might need a party member. they had the ark. Ooh, what kind of critters are we going to be fighting this time? Hmm, wow, decent damage. Whoa, wow. supposed to be here? Okay, I need to be 
be in the cave with the Ark, not this castle. down the A button and fight. Wow. <laughs> Chibi Yusa defeated it. Sailor soldiers, but this time you'll be the ones to bite the dust. Well, if it isn't the rabbit, it's been some time, huh? So, you're a sailor soldier now. Even you guys were made into the Oppositio soldiers' puppets. Oppositio soldiers? Those idiots are nothing to me. Then tell us where the rose crystal is. I don't know or care about that. It's time for you to die. Time for you to die? I don't think so. My levels are pretty low. Yeah, I had uh, Venus with the, yeah, Saturn with the red pupil. Yeah, you're right.
I'm beginning to wonder if maybe I should have taken some of my other people with me. This is not good. feeling that I am probably not going to survive this at this rate. Let's see just what happens. herself and for one damage. Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! Chibi Moon together. I'm just, I'm just gonna, like, let it peter out at this point, because it's really getting close to 10, and I don't think I will be, um, able to, uh, keep this up much longer. Yep, there goes Chibi Moon. So, I think, I mean, it's probably going to take forever for, uh, Sailor Moon to be, um, meh. So, I think we will try to, um, raid somebody. And let's see exactly who is streaming right now that we can go say hi to. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see here. We've got, ah, Shellshock. Shellshock is streaming Metroid Samus Returns. 
which is the 3DS version of the sequel to Metroid. So we are going to raid him. All right, so I will see you all probably Saturday or Sunday. I am not sure if I'm going to be doing a stream on Saturday or Sunday. It's a thought that I've been kicking around. I don't know if it'll be Sailor Moon. It might be something different. But anyway, um, I will say goodnight to everybody here, and I hope you all have a pleasant tomorrow. Good night. Careful.